Here we go for the third installment of the day, the last piece of the puzzle. We are working on a very simple character controller to allow the animation class to see their character animating within a scene um, and you know explore the, the different options that that gives us. The last request that goes with that is can we have a follow camera? So let's put in uh, Unity's basic follow camera and uh, I'll show how to do that. The first thing we want to do is we're going to be using Cinemachine. It's, uh, Unity's new camera system is called Cinemachine. So we're going to go to the Unity registry in the package manager and find Cinemachine and install it. Boom, there we go. Here we have the main camera, here we have the character. We need to add to our scene a new object that is going to be the new option that's just appeared here, Cinemachine. We have lots and lots of different options for this. Let's go with a free look camera. Um, you know, or maybe we go with a virtual camera. It's, I'm not sure what we really want. I'm going to go with the free look camera. The free look camera allows you to use the mouse to look around while following the character around. Um, and maybe that's the the best option for giving our animation team the most flexibility. Uh, so let's do that. We'll create a free look camera. Um, and I want that at the top. I don't want it underneath all my little grass thingies. I'm going to put it right underneath the main camera. Now you you may also notice that when I inserted a free look camera, a Cinemachine brain was automatically attached to my main camera. I didn't have to do that. It did that for me. Uh, my free look camera is going to need a follow target and a look at target. And those are my player. So I'm going to just put in the follow target for the free look camera as the assassin. And the look at target also is going to be the assassin. Um, and I guess I should note, if we're here in scene mode, that the origin of the assassin is at the feet, the feet of the assassin. And so uh, by setting the feet of the assassin to be the look at target, we're going to get a nice view of the assassin's feet. But let's just see how that goes with just default settings, just filled in the assassin as the look at target and the follow target. Let's save my scene here. And let's go. All right, now, as I promised, we now have a view of the assassin's feet and the camera will follow those feet as the feet move around. That's a good start. Now, I chose the free look camera and the reason for that is this mouse, what does it do? As I move up and down with the mouse uh, and side to side with the mouse, I can look around freely, freely, I can orbit around this character on uh, two axes and see it from different angles. But really, I'm, you know, I'm looking at the feet and I want to see the feet. I want to see the whole character probably. Um, so let's, uh, let's tune it. We're just going to tune the settings for this. There are just a million settings that you can find in here. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to explore just a few of them. Um, let's start with, there's, um, there's three different angles that you can set. One for when the camera is way down low, one for when the camera is way up high, and one for in the middle. Um, let's start with, I don't know, bottom, we're kind of down at the bottom here. Uh, hold on. I want to, yeah, I want to make sure save during play has been checked. Uh, they've added this lovely feature here so that um, we can make tuning adjustments here in the editor while we're playing like this and they'll stay instead of the usual you turn off play mode and then it's all gone so be aware that was on by default so um, yeah okay so what are we going to do here um, let's adjust this bottom view and in the aim category we can adjust the a height offset for the look at target. And I think, what about, yeah, about, let's put one. 
So the middle, like the hips area, is what we're going to be looking at. And the radius, maybe we should back away a little bit. How's that? Okay, so that looks good. And let's go to the middle rig. The middle rig, let's also look at about the hips. And I'm going to back away a little bit here as well. Okay. And let's go to the top rig. Let's put in that one. And I think I'm good actually with that. Okay. So if I turn that off and just get back into the game. Okay. That's not bad, right? Okay. So I'm, I'm looking ahead. I can't quite see my feet, but if I look down a little bit, I can, um, you know, and who knows, you can tune that for your own desired needs. But that's, I mean, that's pretty good. The, the game is up and running and it really was that simple to put this in. Okay, so there you go. There's your basic Cinemachine follow camera installed. And for Scott, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this scene, I'm gonna pack it up, throw it into a GitHub um, and send that over to you for your use and tuning um, you'll have to ask me, you know, for help, I suppose, for setting up the rest of the things that the assassin can do. Our assassin character here has more animations on it that we are not invoking. If you need any of these other animations specifically set up, um, I can help you with that. But uh, because they are unique to this character's design, this character's animation set, I don't know of any way to do this in general. So we could just come in here and this is how you can activate various animations um, and to hook them to an input, uh, you could use these actions, use the player actions, perhaps use the ones that already exist like fire, or you, know, you can add new actions to it um, to create modifiers and and different different things you know attacks and kicks and twirls and jumps and whatever that's it for the cinemachine camera and that wraps up our little set on this character controller that we've been doing so uh, that's probably it for a little while and uh, i'll see you guys next time